Hello people of the internet, my name is Esther and today I have a couple of study tips for you guys. I've been having exams at least once a year since I was in fifth grade, so I know quite a bit about studying. Um, the tips I have are a little bit generic, but I think they are very important, especially if you're someone who's just starting out with exams and you want to know what are the most important things to know about studying for them. So let's get started. Make sure a couple of weeks before the actual exam that you have every single note you could possibly need. It can happen that you get sick or for whatever reason you skip a class and you don't have the notes. And when you start studying for an exam in, well, let's face it, the last minute, you're going to be sitting there with missing notes and there might not be a way to get them. So make sure you have all your notes, especially if you know that you're a procrastinator, so in the last minute you will have everything ready for studying. Next, find a place where you feel most comfortable studying. Some people like to go to the library, some people might prefer studying outside. I personally can only study in my room, which is very weird and impractical. Um, if I'm at anyone else's house, and I try to study, I don't feel so relaxed and this is the only place I can study well. So <laughs> make sure you know and make sure that when you're studying you're at the place because that's when you're going to be the most productive. So the next thing to remember is that everyone procrastinates and it's not necessarily a bad thing to do but you should know how much you can actually procrastinate. Having a certain level of stress on yourself usually helps performance. Some people work better under big amounts of stress and some people work better with just a teeny tiny bit or even no stress. I do procrastinate because a small amount of stress helps me, but if I leave everything to the last minute, I'm gonna freak out and I'm gonna underperform. So uh, I know that I can put studying off, but I do still have to start it in time. <laughs> if you want to schedule, make sure that you give yourself time to relax, to take breaks from studying, and maybe also count in that you're gonna still procrastinate. If you know that for a certain exam you think you will need two days, then schedule three. Next, find the method that works best for you. You might prefer studying quietly, but what I do is I walk up and down in my room and I study loudly in a way that I'm either reading or actually remembering the material that I have to study. Because for me, I learn mostly through hearing things. Um, yeah, but you might be someone who's a little bit more visual, so for you, maybe hearing is not that important. It's more important to actually sit down and look at the material. Another thing that if you have more of a task to do rather than memorizing, like you have to write a paper, then you can decide maybe on having some background noise, maybe some music or I don't know, putting on a TV. Sometimes it's helpful but I personally prefer quiet because any type of music, even instrumental music, makes me more concentrated on the music and actually bugs me that, oh my god, there's something else in the background and I can't 100% focus on my task. However, I can do math when listening to music, but I cannot write anything when I'm listening to music. Also know what type of examination stresses you out more. I personally prefer written exams because they don't stress me so much and when I'm having an oral exam, I know I will need twice the amount of time that I would need for a written exam because going in I get so nervous and so unsure about all the studying I've done that I forget half of the things I've learned. It's way more harder to retrieve the information, so I know I need um, more studying time for that. So I do prefer written exams because it's time efficient and I'm less stressed. Also, before the exam, there are people who say, oh, there's no point in revising, and there are people who revise till the last minute. Um, I personally, what I like is uh, that I don't. I say that I'm, oh, I'm not going to revise anymore, and everyone's revising around me, and they start asking questions, oh, oh, what is this? And 
I get a kick out of knowing the answer and um, I get a little bit more relaxed and I will feel like, oh, good. yeah, that's good. I, I actually know everything that I studied. So the feeling of I don't know anything goes away a little bit. My very last tip is something a little bit more practical, not actually studying, but if you have an oral exam, it's important how you look. Um, it's not that important with a written exam, but with an oral one, it is definitely. And if you have a designated um, exam outfit, uh, then make sure it fits you. <laughs> so when I was in high school, we had to wear a uniform to exams. It was a pretty simple white blouse and blue skirt. But when I got to university, the white blouse was actually pretty simple, but it had a double color, which looked pretty weird on its own without the neck tie thingy that we had to wear in high school. So I couldn't wear that. It wasn't an issue in the winter because I was wearing um, pants. But in the summer, I tried to skirt on and it wouldn't come up. So I was sitting there like two days before an exam and I was like, okay, what in the hell am I gonna be wearing? So make sure at least the week before the exam that you try on your clothes to see if they still fit you because you might have to go out and buy new clothes. There can be other problems with it. Maybe you've accidentally ripped it or Maybe there's a stain on it that you haven't noticed before. Uh, so it's just better to know that everything's gonna be okay with your outfit. So I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Because of my exams, I might not be able to upload either next week or the week after that. I don't know, it's not sure, uh, but anyways, I normally upload every single week and if you're interested in what I might upload next, please subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye!